Okay, so my 2000 Blazer recently uh, started throwing the uh, P0410 code, secondary air injection uh, pump error. So I'm going to go ahead and first thing I'm going to do is check the fuse. And that's what this video is going to be. Uh, we'll run with that. That's the cheapest fix uh, to try. So I'm going to pull the battery here. I've got a 5 16 inch uh, box in. Pull the terminals. I'm going to do the ground first. I always like to do the ground first just because uh, if you happen to be pulling the positive terminal and arc your wrench on a metal piece such as the uh, alternator or something uh, you won't get sparks okay but you can do it however you want peel those back out of the way now we've got a half inch uh, socket and a long extension and a 3 8 inch ratchet and we're going to get the battery uh, Clamp here. Like other videos I've made, uh, you know, I always opt for the cheapest solution first. So what we're going to do is uh, test the uh, fuse. And if it's bad, I'll put a new fuse in it and I'll drive it for a week and see if the code comes back. Alright. That's where we need to be. Right here. Uh, I'm going to pull the horn power off here just so I can get at it a little easier. This should come right out of here. Okay. And the fuse should be right under here. Okay, it's this 30 amp maxi fuse. I'm going to go ahead and pull that. And what I'll do is... Uh, Let's take a visual inspection here, and actually, it looks uh, it looks good, but I'm going to test it just the same. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take my tester and put it on uh, the continuity tester with the audible alert. If I touch the uh, two terminals together, it strikes a tone. So if I touch these two uh, leads here on this fuse, I should get a tone. And I'm not getting anything. So despite the fact that this uh, fuse looks good, I don't believe it is. Okay. Let's test a, a new one here that I just got at the store. Again, it's a 30 amp maxi fuse. I'm just going to drive it in these hoses to hold it. Okay, so that fuse was bad. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and replace the fuse. Um, but the thing to keep in mind, obviously, is something caused this fuse to blow. Um, and there is a known issue with these uh, vehicles in this uh, particular secondary air injection pump. And what that is, is apparently there's a check valve that can rust open. And uh, the pump heats up and moisture uh, condenses on the inside of the pump. And it can actually toast the pump. And so blown fuse is an indication that the pump is actually bad. And uh, in reading about this problem, you know, I believe it's going to cost me in the area of $150 to $175 to fix. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this fuse. I'm going to drive it around for a week. And if I don't throw a code, I'm just going to call it good. Uh, but chances are the pump is gone and I'll have to make another video on how to replace that system. Uh, but I'd, I'd rather spend the $4 on the fuse uh, than $175 on the entire pump and check valves and so forth. So let's give this a shot and um, hopefully you won't see me again on this issue. Okay, thanks for watching. Leave questions and comments below. And again, uh, hopefully this resolves my issue, but I'm not holding out uh, that it will. 
uh, given the fact that uh, this is a known issue uh, for these vehicles. So you may see me again on uh, swapping out the secondary air uh, injection pump uh, in a future video. Hopefully not.